And this is what I did with one of the leftover bassifilets. There was two left, so Paris and Coco got to share one. And one of them, since it was already cooked, I shredded it up, cooked some potatoes and onions, salt, pepper, put a little bit of summer savory, and I'm making these beautiful fish cakes, homemade. Don't they look amazing? So that's going to be for breakfast this morning with some scrambled eggs for my hubby. Now they're not staying together good and it's my fault because I should have mashed the potatoes and I left them really chunky. You guys can see. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It looks good. It's going to taste good too. It's just... Paris, are you good? She's over here making that noise. She already ate. Get! I don't want to shine the light on you. Get out of the kitchen, dear. Her and Coco had their muffin with their butter. They ate. They're done. See, some of it stayed together and then some of it fell apart. But like I said, that's my own. Even when I was making them, I thought, oh crap, I should have mashed those potatoes. Because you guys can see they're pretty chunky. I wish you could smell how good this smells right now. Oh, pretty palette smells divine. My hubby's going to be happy. Look at that. Okay. These are definitely cooked well done. This, to me, this would remind me of like a homestead cooking. You know, oh my gosh, you can really smell the beautiful summer savory. Oh, wow, that smells so good. I know it's gonna taste as good as it smells. All right, now I'm turning the grill down because it's hot. I got three eggs in here, but only one egg yolk. We, we do try to cut down on the yolks whenever I'm cooking breakfast because my husband loves eggs every day almost. When when he works, he gets eggs. When he's off, it's lighter things like cereal and waffles. And But look at this. It's on four. I turned it right down. Now it's going to cook slow, but the pan was already hot. So I'll probably make him a couple toasts to go with this, but look at this. Doesn't that look incredible? It really does. And then some scrambled egg. I know some people add milk and all that to their scrambled eggs. I keep it completely simple and it tastes great. It's a chillier morning out this morning, but it's fabulous. I got the air conditioning off and I got the windows wide open. And it just feels so fresh and good. I'm going to try a bite here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Please bless this food. Give that a try. Ow. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Woo! Hot, though. That is hot, hot, hot. That's amazing. Mmm. Now, the summer savory. What I did is I cooked potatoes and the onion in the pot till they were soft. Drained it really well. And then I emptied it in the big mixing bowl with the fish that I had cut up because the fish was already cooked. My bass of fish. Anyway, then I added about a teaspoon of summer savory, some more black pepper, a little bit of pink salt, and made, I, I was able to make six patties. So I froze three and then cooked three. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Mmm, especially with the that little crisp on it. Mm -hmm. Wow, my husband's gonna be a happy camper. Pears, that's not for you, sweetheart. 
even though she just ate. You know how dogs are. They smell the good food. Coco is in the living room looking out the window, relaxing. So, not all dogs are like Paris, but you're my baby, aren't you, girl? Mm hmm. You can't have this, though. Even though you're my baby. <laughs> I think I might get my husband a surprise him with a sub like for supper tonight for his lunch there the egg, that egg is completely done so all that I need to do is make up some toast and I'll probably just put butter to keep it simple because there's so much flavor in these um, fish cakes now these are real home fish cakes from scratch and they're not disappointing. Yay! Don't judge. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna work on this section right here today. This section right here. All these um, spaces on the door. I'm gonna take literally everything out because I'm sure there's some outdates. I'm gonna wash everything down and then restock, but I hope this is not going to look cluttered like this because that really bugs me too. All right. All right, guys. So this part of the fridge is done. I disinfected it really, really well with Vim bleach and then my homemade vinegar and Lysol spray. <sighs> it even smells nice. Nice and washed up. So now I'm going to put things back that I'm going to keep get rid of a lot of stuff that's old that I haven't used so let me just take care of that right now and I'll show you guys what's left all right guys this stuff is all the stuff in the to-go pile Ugh, I feel bad about wasting it's out of date it's stuff there's some things I haven't even opened and it just taught me a big lesson are these outdated I bought them so long ago I'm assuming they are is there a date it's really good to have. I don't know if there's a date, but I had ginger, garlic, dill. Oh, I guess I had two ginger. <sighs> um, salad dressings. This one is empty. There was just, I had it upside down to try to smidge out whatever I could. This I haven't even touched. Honey dill, never even tried it. I thought it would have been good, interesting to use. Didn't even use it. Catalina is outdated now. This butter was in the fridge over six months. Real butter going. These beets losing their color. On camera it doesn't look like it, but I promise you they're losing their color. I tried that, hated it. That's outdated. Haven't used this in like six months. Yep, outdated 2020 apparently. Wow. So I guess I haven't used it in three years. So... Oh, this is still good. I need to put this back in the fridge. Yep, good till 2025, and I actually do use this, so. But this is my waist. I'll show you guys how I have organized. All right, guys, so this looks a lot cleaner and downsized a lot. Milk we use all the time, so that's right there, our emergency stuff. Uh, you know, juices and... I got my wine still down there and sauces that are open. I have a good bottle of pickles and a smaller but good bottle of beets. And our staples like barbecue sauce, pizza sauce, dressing, ketchup, mustard. Anyway, this looks so much better. <sighs> it was a lot of work. I feel a lot better that this section's done. I do have to work on all of that, but it's not going to be today. Maybe I'll do the drawers tomorrow. It's funny because I made a mess in here like a few months ago. I had to take everything out and clean it. And how did it get like this again? I don't even know. Some people's like every cupboard and every, you know, fridge and shelf is like spotless. I'm not that girl. I want to be, but life happens. Oh, and I am trying to work harder on having no waste. That is a goal of mine. I'm really trying to work on it. I have some items for sale right here. My gingerbread cookie jar, a blanket, 
and a couple little things that I just don't even use. So anyway, I do feel bad for the waste and I'm trying to help it teach me a lesson. Think before I buy, don't overstock, keep it minimal. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to have anything for waste, nothing. <sighs> you guys, for me, when I start cleaning, I, I don't know what happens, I get panicky, I can't stop. I'm just gonna remove this photo to show you as I put one of our Christmas cactus right in here by the window. It seems to be happy there and doing well. And I got everything, there's our toilet. <laughs> everything all nice and clean, disinfected. I refilled up our soap. What I do for the bathroom soap, because there's some of our family that has like allergies, I fill this up with child shampoo. And even though it says fresh balsam, it's not. I just keep reusing this one. And the one in the kitchen is the scented. So I'm just, I'm letting this, um, you know, dry off there before I put it on here. But I changed out the towels and everything's washed, disinfected, and smells good, feels good. Come on, Coco. Come on, girl. All right, guys. The girls are literally both over there in the window. I know I can't see Coco, but she's there. It is down pouring outside. Paris doesn't mind. She doesn't like going in the rain, but she will, and she'll go use the bathroom. Coco will not. She doesn't even like getting wet, so... I put out her puppy pad because she's going to have to go at some point. She doesn't like to use the puppy pad at all, but she's going to have to because she, she will not. I did try. I brought her out, but it didn't matter. She won't go. Ah, little dogs, eh? It feels like big dogs don't mind. They just do what they got to do. And But anyway, whew, got a load of laundry on. And I had a much needed shower. So that's something done so far this morning. But yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a heavy rain. And they're calling for rain for a few days. So we prayed over our home and over our garden and our property and our vehicle. Because, you know, there's so many places where they get flooding or drought or like the weather's just extreme. And I always just thank the Lord for blessing us with everything we need and protecting us. And so thank you, God, for this beautiful fresh air and this rain. This is going to fill people's wells for the winter. We've had a, a rainy, rainy summer. And at the same time, we've also had a windy, hot, extreme summer. So it's been all over the place. And then the last few days, we've had cold fall weather, which I love. Oh, wow. It's damn pouring even more. Let's go outside and I'll show you guys. Up my water. Oh, I'm gonna try to do that every morning when I get up to fill this with fresh cold water from the fridge, and I think it's gonna help me drink more water. With the rain. bigger pumpkin plant grow you guys it was right there and now it's like look it's going all the way over to the side oh no that poor lad he's soaking wet oh I feel bad for him just damn pouring in
All the water's running right downhill. There's going to be flooding today, that's for sure. Look how beautiful the grapevine's all filled in, eh? Isn't that so nice? And it gives us a beautiful amount of privacy. And then, as you can see, it's growing up in here, which is more than fine. But I will be keeping it trim. And then right here where our bird feeder is, I love that. Oh, we have a visitor coming for breakfast this morning. I just heard him chirping. Where are you? He's over here close to me somewhere. I thought we might be able to see him go for breakfast, but I don't think he's going to come out. Alright guys, I just got done folding the second load of laundry. I'm getting ready to eat brekkie. I had to run out to go get my bucket of coffee grinds because um, the owner is nice enough to save her coffee grinds for me every day that even though it's like downpouring, I wasn't going to make her like take up that room in her store. It's a small little store. Anyway, I got this here is a half French vanilla and half coffee. And I know it's going to be good. And then I got the sandwich that me and my hubby taste tested for you guys. It's on an English muffin that's double toasted. It has egg and cheese and then the new smoked honey bacon. And it's incredible. And my hubby had one too. I also got him a muffin and a donut. And I stopped at the grocery store. I got myself a few groceries for our home, not just for me. And, um, yeah, I got soaked. It doesn't matter because going out right now, you're not going to get the crowd of people. So this is how to do it. If you need to go, go on a stormy day, a rainy day. <sighs> but I'm glad to be home because the roads are literally flooding right now. So in another hour or two, they're going to be worse. Anyway, I'm starving and I need to eat. And I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I'm watching my girl Jacqueline, and she got this new kitty litter, the expensive stuff, but it's supposed to like save you money and all that stuff and show you the health of your cat's urine. Anyway, she's here talking about how she wants to get better come fall at, you know, meal prep and buying groceries and like trying to save money. And Jacqueline, I'm so on the same page as you. I literally did better last winter when I wrote down a grocery, like a meal plan for the entire week. And let me just turn you guys without making you dizzy. There's Paris. So up there on my wall, can you guys see? I bought that at the dollar store. It's like an actual planner for the week. And it has like Sunday right through Saturday. So seven full days. And it's a dry erase board, so you take your marker and whatever you write, you can erase it. And, um, oh, I recycled guys here. Anyway, the thing is, is I need to get my butt back in gear and get on board with that too. So I was thinking about that lately as well. I want to do better at buying groceries, having less waste. I'm telling you, yesterday I was starting to clean the fridge. I, I only did the door. So today I'm going to work on more. But even when I did, I had waste. And I was like, okay, things are expensive enough and I don't want to have any waste. So that was already put in my head yesterday about like, I want to do better grocery shopping. I want to do better. It's okay, girls. Here, here Paris, here you go. Here, here Miss Magoos. It's okay. It's okay. It was just a recycle. Okay. No more. No more. I'm just going to go check it out. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Come here. Come here. Oh, she just got to check it out. <laughs> anyway, Jacqueline, I'm on the same page as you. Let's, let's put something together this fall, and we'll do a collab 
on how like how we're gonna try to get our things in gear and save money this year let's do better this fall guys let's do better at grocery shopping at spending at all, all these things are in my head i want to be able to save money i want to be able to not buy like i am so not the person who needs to buy new to appreciate things i can buy secondhand i can buy yard sale stuff thrifting stuff whatever but what do i really need right really what do i really need not much um there are th certain things you have to purchase brand new like underwear you know stuff like that but for the majority of like items we really don't need but anyway i'm on the same page wow that was a three minute conversation and i think i went around and around it but yeah um grocery shopping meal prep i want to get better at that too so we'll be doing it together girl all right guys chat with you in a bit <sighs> you guys i'm frustrated i just had the girls outside we went on the back deck because there's a light break in the rain <sighs> I have bad news. My pumpkin plant. I don't know what the heck is going on. You guys saw how big it was. I had six pumpkins growing on it. I already see two pumpkins dropped. I, I, I don't know why they're dropping. I think I lost more than that. <sighs> I, I don't know. But I'm really sad. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. First the plant's doing great. Then it's struggling. Then it's doing great again. Getting all these new pumpkins. Like even the flowers are falling off. <sighs> I'm never going to plant a pumpkin plant in a container again. They really need to be in the ground. Oh, oh wow. I'm watching fall home tours and I'm just like screaming inside. Anyway, I just got a delivery to the door. This is a Shein package. I don't even know what I ordered. I don't remember. Sometimes I order when I'm like laying in bed at night and I'm like, oh, did I order something? What is this? Let's see. We're going to find out together. Okay, I know exactly what this is. This is a necessity. Oh, they sent me two different colors. Okay. I'm fine with that. So these got to go into the washing machine. But let me show you why I bought this. Because... I'm trying to limit waste, okay? I'm really trying to save money and just do better. And one of the things where I notice we have a like reoccurring waste is with soap. Now, my husband loves using soap bars. I like using body wash. And the soap that he uses, whenever it gets, you know when the soap bar gets so skinny and thin, you're like okay, I'm done with it now because I can't even wash myself. It's so skinny. I thought, how can I save those soap bars and reuse them? And at first I had loaded a whole bunch of them into, uh, you know, pantyhose. I just cut off the sock part, put all the soap into there, and then it would still suds up and like you could like wash your body with it. But that quickly became a pain in the butt. It was not working good and the socks stretched and then I saw these on Shein they're a wash mitt so you got two different sides this is the for exfoliating this is the scrubby and you know what you could throw one of your used soap bars right in here so it's in the glove and then you wash yourself like this and it would continually suds up so I'm going to give that a try I think it's going to work but I'm going to have to throw these in the wash before we use them anyway they both got these hooks which i really liked you know so you can hang them up in your bathroom my fingers are orange because i had cheese doodles halloween cheese doodles <laughs> anyway i hope that works because if it does then we won't have any soap waste so that'll be great and then i guess i bought nails okay so i bought two packs of each this is just a pretty summer nail with like Look at the flowers. Doesn't that look like you went and spent a lot of money? And then this is also summer vibes. And it just has like the manicure, but like pretty summer colors. And then I, I bought two of the same thing. So I buy the nails with the intentions to use them. And I haven't even done my nails in like years. Oh, I forgot I bought this. This here is for 
my summer coffee burr, which I'll be getting ready to pack that up and put it away. But this here, look at guys, this is um, battery operated lights, string lights for the coffee bar and they're little lemons. They're actually quite big. Like, look, I think there's 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. There's 10 lemons and if they just have that on it. You take it off and open it up. It's a pretty good, I think it's two meters, but that's going to look cute for next summer. I'm not going to add it this summer. I'm going to leave it tied up, but that is going to go be packed away. What is this? Oh, okay, right. Not like I go anywhere, but if ever me and my hubby had to go somewhere, uh, this here container, it's a travel case. And what you do is you put both your toothbrushes in here and your toothpaste and your little thing of floss and it all fits in here. Like, look how big that is. Two toothbrushes, toothpaste, and a floss all fit in here together. And then you don't gotta have one for each person, it's all together. I just thought that was really neat to have. <sighs> yeah, and it's good quality. It, it like won't open on its own either. So that was good to have. Oh yeah, right. I'll show you guys that in a minute. What's all this? Oh, okay. I also bought a Christmas pair of socks, gingerbread. How cute. I love that these were like, not pastel, but not the traditional harsh colors. It's, uh, it says Merry Christmas there. And it's like a soft brown, soft brown here, nice beige, hollies, candy canes, and cute little gingerbread men all over the socks. Thank you, Shan. And then this is something for the shower. It's just like a sticker hook. So this is double-sided tape. You put that on the back there and then hook it up to your shower and it holds your razor. And right now I keep my razor on our shelf, my very, the top shelf. And you do not know how many times I keep dropping it. So by having it on this, on the wall of the shower, I'm gonna love that so much better. I'm literally gonna put this up when I'm done chatting with you guys. So the last thing I have to show you is I bought two of the exact same thing, just different sizes. I bought a size nine and a size 10. So my Mamere has the prettiest pearl engagement ring that I've ever seen in my life. And I've never seen anybody have a pearl. I have a diamond engagement ring to go with my wedding ring, which is right on the shelf over there. And anyway, my grandmother has the pearl one and I loved it so much that I had to go buy a faux one for myself. Look, <gasps> wow, are you screaming? Cause that is darling. That my friends looks so vintage. I wanted it to look vintage and I wanted it to be, now I would never wear it here on my, my ring finger. That's only for my wedding ring. So let me put it on the other one. Wow, doesn't that look so beautiful? It's so big, it's chunky, and it does. Look at how pretty that is. And look at it, looks like there's a crown holding it up, like, you know, queen, and it's just, oh, that's stunning. And the pearl's gigantic. But you guys, wherever you wear that, that's gonna get noticed. My grandmother's ring, is gorgeous it's not as big as this pearl but it is pretty large it's just a little bit smaller actually and it's so vintage looking too and it's just something that you're not used to seeing on anybody look at the nice shine can you i don't know if that's coming across on camera but there's like diamonds all throughout those squares and then this really does look like a crown oh my gosh but i did type in that i want it vintage and this is giving everything so I bought two sizes and this size fits me perfect. But how stinking cute is that? That is a scream. I love it. What do you guys think? It's definitely adorable. I love it. Woohoo! All right, guys. That's my bigger pumpkin here that fell off. There's the little baby one. And I probably lost more on the other side. I was looking on Google to see what's going on. It said too much heat, too much moisture, too much nitrogen. And I loaded this with grass clippings for nitrogen. 
And I think that might have been what did it because that holds in the heat and the moisture and it might have too much nitrogen going into it. So I hope that I hope that's going to help. And let it breathe for a bit and we'll see. <sighs> if anybody's like a professional and you're seeing this video, can you let me know? Because I'm really getting sad. I'm losing my pumpkins. Some new flowers fell right off. See, here's the stem. There's the stem right there of where that beautiful pumpkin was. Anyway, another flower fell off. That one died. This pumpkin here is still there for now. This one is still here for now. Yeah, I was so excited to see. And I'm looking down there to see if I can still see my other pumpkin and that dropped too. Oh. So right now, the only thing I can see is two pumpkins left. So I don't know. This one here, this one here. And I'm not sure if it's something that I'm doing or what's going on. Is it the grass that caused that? I, I don't know. Everything else is happy and doing good. Oh my gosh, I see a red tomato. Oh my gosh. Yay. Wow, it's so small. What? Look at how tiny this tomato is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I guess these tomatoes won't be big. Hmm. I'm still thankful for it. Thank you, Lord. And you guys, I'm getting ready to pick these shortly. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. Look how full they are. Wow. Look. And it looks like there's a good abundance in here, too. Like, all around. Especially on this side over here. Look at them all. Look. It's going to be... Whoa! There was a bug in there. Look, that was in there. It's two bugs connected and they're flying together. Anyway, our first tomato. Blackberry plants down there doing decent. Blueberries need to be picked. Look at this beautiful flower. I don't even know what it is, but I do remember planting them in a circle around the other flower. And look at now they're coming out and they're tall and they're gorgeous pink. Let me go get closer. Show you guys while I'm here. So you guys seen I already added coffee grinds and the nutrients to the strawberry um, garden right here, the brand new one. Those are all strawberry babies. Then I loaded the grass clipping so it's right full of grass. That's gonna put nitrogen in. So I'm thinking all these brand new strawberry babies that were struggling, they're gonna be okay. But look at, look at the difference. Plant at the same time, difference in soil. Makes a huge difference, be careful. You guys, the soil that I got, the guy told me it was good. He said it was really good. He said it was above average. Well, it's above average is right, it's crappy. I don't think he sold it to me knowing that. I don't think he knew it at all, but hard lesson to learn. I had to pull all my yellow beans, remember? Anyway. I'm putting compost. I put a whole bucket of coffee grinds and I'm going to put another bucket of coffee grinds. But you guys look. So these are my yellow beans right here and they're producing well. Look at those yellow beans over there in the tires. They're so happy in those tires. I don't think they started producing the actual bean yet. The flowers are just starting to come. And then my tomato plants here, we're growing tomatoes guys. Let's go have a walk. Why not? My feet are squishing in my shoes because I had to empty my shoes full of water. I'm just plucking off. Uh, we clean off our fence every summer. We get rid of everything right down to the scratch and then it just grows back with a vengeance every year. I know you have to get the bottom. I know. But uh, anyway, I'm just plucking a couple of these. All right, tomatoes are growing. And look, I'm not even touching these plants or vines. 
and they're just gonna spread and do what they want to do but look there's some tomatoes can you guys see there's more tomatoes there tomatoes there lots of little flowers now the corn looks to be coming along really nicely guys again I don't even touch it oh look at there's like the wheat in the corn right there do you guys see that see at the top there's some wheat or whatever I know it's not edible but I'm just saying it's growing and I'm happy so these yellow bean these ones are even higher these ones are higher than the ones that's actually in the garden over there so I don't know why but they're they're really nice and tall and they're just getting ready to start see there's no flowers yet so I was wrong the plants are still growing no flowers yet no beans yet so I'm not sure when they're gonna come but they're gonna come all right let's head over to the flowers before it starts raining heavy because I'm getting misted on yeah next summer guys this this whole row here will be a brand new strawberry garden bed as well we'll do that together next summer so I'm gonna load it with seaweed and all the good nutrients get it all set okay look at these flowers oh right there was a lupin that I had there and around the lupin I put these and I don't even know what they are but look how stunning they are this is almost four feet tall look at you guys see how beautiful this is the color of pink is just like bubble gum it's so heavy it's kind of falling I'm gonna to try to help it I don't want to break it I'm just gonna to try to help it there have a little bit of a wowie this guy fell over but now he's growing up they're all getting ready to bloom look look at all the things that's gonna be blooming I mean that's beautiful so yeah my lupin is in there and hopefully that spreads because I love lupins this plant hasn't grown the t the seedless sweet grapes here they're coming up the vine nicely my this here what you're seeing up here is a blackberry vine my that's a cherry bush here's my blueberry bushes and over there too I got my rain buckets now these blackberries, these puppies are doing incredible. You see all the fruit on them? Let's do a fruit tour. Now this is nowhere near ready to eat. The fruits are still making, like they're still producing. Look at, they're gonna be nice and big and fat. They get bigger than a raspberry, guys, these blackberries. Look at the abundance. Thank you, Lord. You see all the abundance of fruit coming? Look. So, like I showed you guys, that's our compost. But next summer, I plan to have at least five bushes here of the thornless blackberries right here so that there's no wasted space. Pierce wants to go in. She's getting wet, and so am I. All right, guys, we're going in. Oh, the kiwis are coming. You guys, the kiwis are coming see that the fruit look at the fruit beautiful okay guys welcome to Xi'an fall showing I want to show you guys some of the awesome stuff they have I love Xi'an and I've shopped there ever since they opened up I I find so many goodies anyway this blanket here got the blue hues that reminds me of my friend Lacey XO she has her channel I'm not a Halloween girl, but I know a lot of people are, and I wanted to include some of the cute little Halloween things they have too. Like, look at this trick-or-treat blanket. Could you imagine cuddling up on a cozy, chilly fall day with that cute blanket? Or this one, I love the pop of green with these pumpkins. So stinking adorable. And if you want to go back and watch it again, I included the prices like you're going to see 
the Shein page. Like this one's twenty five thirty. This reminds me of my friend Melissa. She loves cows and pigs, and this is so fall. It had all the sunflowers. Now this reminds me of my friend Caroline and my friend Michelle because they're both farm girls. They love farm. This has everything in it. We got the barn. We got the red truck. We got the pumpkin patch. There was even a squirrel in there. This is so darling. These blankets are so easy to wash, so easy to dry. Look at this one. Pumpkin. All right, look how adorable this Halloween blanket is. Got the muted pinks. It got everything in it. It's just so darling and cute. This here's a fun one with pumpkins. There's cupcakes. And now this is cute farm theme. I love it. And it's more like, um, what do you call that? You know the patchwork blankets that people make? Oh, this is super chunky knitted blanket. It's so cute. Now we're getting into some fall clothes. Look at this pumpkin long cardigan. It's so cozy, all the cozy fall vibes. Could you picture just throwing that on with your oversized purse, purse and a cute scarf? And again, here's a sweater dress. It's plaid. The brown hues, look at how stinking cute it is. And it goes down just to above the knee. And again, here's another gorgeous cardigan. Look at the prices. And this is all plus size. So it's even cheaper if you're not plus size. If you're regular sizing, I love this one personally. I love that to go with jeans and wherever you're running and going. This is zipper up down past the knee and it's a hoodie and it got pockets. It's hitting all the fall cozy vibes. Look at this gorgeous burgundy dress with the overall covers on it. It's long. It's beautiful. Could you imagine beautiful, pretty fall pictures with your hubby or your friends? And every single girl needs the long plaid jacket. This is so thin it's so cute. It's great with leggings. It's great with jeans. It's great anywhere. They have thicker and thinner ones. And again, this is all plus sizing. That's a gorgeous, cute dress. It's nice and long. Oh, here's a fall coat. It's not too heavy. It has pockets. That's darling. And you don't even have to be like she got it dressed up with high boots. You could just be wearing jeans and slides and be cute in it. And of course, who doesn't like the teddy material? So cozy and warm. I love it. I love the colors. I love the the wrist, the puffiness, the length, everything. And of course, they have tons of cute socks. I only included this one to show for fall, but they also have cute foodie ones too, bacon and eggs. How cute. Now, for fall, they're bringing out all of their adorable t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies. They have so much to choose from. Look at this darling cat sweater for any cat lover. So cute. This is a staple. I have it in my cart. I need this cute sweater. Plus size, $17. What? I sent this one to my friend Jacqueline because I love the pink and the ghosties for her. And I know there's a lot of the Sanderson sister fans, so I added that in there. Look, flannels, hay rides, pumpkin sweaters, bonfires. How cute is that? Literally, that's adorable. This one here, I loved the pink. And it says, what does it say? I can't read what it says. Something coffee. Oh, this here reminded me of my friend. She loves farm animals. Caroline. And it was so affordable. This t-shirt's cute too. All the flowers and the reading. $12.50 guys. Plus size. And this one with the um, sunflower is just darling. It's absolutely cute.